Good morning and happy Friday, Southern Idaho. Um, this is Carter at Southern Idaho Landscape Center. Uh, coming to update you guys with the tree and the shrub of the week. This week we, is actually a very special week because the tree of the week is actually on sale. Um, these beautiful Siouxland poplars, uh, they will be 25% off for the next week. Um, so the Siouxland poplar, well, we should start off poplar, cottonwood, I mean, what are all these different names? What do they mean? Uh, they're actually the same name. This is where scientific names kind of help us out because everyone sometimes has a different name for a different tree. Um, but this is this is the Siouxland poplar. Uh, it's actually a type of eastern cottonwood, the scientific name Populus deltoides. Fun fact, it's called Populus because it is in reference to a tree of the people, the populace. Um, because in, the, in nature, poplars always let people know where a water source was. In the wild, they always grow next to streams, next to rivers, next to lakes. So um, they were very, very helpful for the pioneers coming across to, to let them know and mark off where, hey, finally some water, let's take a break sort of thing. Um, but anyway, so this is the Siouxland. Siouxland is known for having these gigantic leaves on them. And what makes them especially handy too is they are actually a cottonless variety. So they will not produce any cotton, they won't make a mess for you or anything like that. Uh, these trees are exceptionally fast growing. Um, we're talking multiple feet a year and they can get actually very quite large, 60, 70 feet tall um, in a few decades. Uh, so with, with that being said, uh, poplars are a fantastic tree for, for homesteads, for acreages. Um, not necessarily always the best option for a front yard tree. Um, most of the time, you're, you're making a trade-off when it comes to fast-growing trees. Just something to keep in mind. Fast-growing trees often will have a little bit of weaker branches on there, a little bit easier uh, break-off, but, you know, in places where you have easily accessible water and lots of space these poplars will do fantastic for you um, so let's go ahead let's take a small little walk um, yeah but for the next week Siouxland poplars will be these large guys back here will be 25 percent off um, so let's go ahead we'll go take a look at our shrub of the week we're trying to get things together to where our tree of the week and our shrub of the week are kind of doing something interesting every every week. Um, last week was our was our plums. They are most of them if not in full bloom right now. They are just getting ready to put on their full show. Next week may or may not be ornamental pears, but we'll find out next week, right? The garden center is filling up. The yard is getting nice and full, full of beautiful trees. Um, we have a lot of arborvitas are in. I know a lot of folks like to get those. Um, our blue atlas cedars are in. We have a wide variety of lilacs. You have a color, you have a size you need. I am pretty sure I'll have a lilac to fit the need. Um, as a heads up, lilacs get very much picked over here in the next few weeks. So if you got one you like, maybe check out our website. You can pre-order on there. You can set for pickup, or you can uh, just reserve it and pick it up uh, later on in the season if you like. So, the shrub of the week got whittled down on me already a little bit here. I just got a few left. This is um, Persithia. Persithia was covered this past week in these beautiful golden blooms. You might have seen these around town, but living in wonderful big Idaho, um, that nice little wind we've had for the past couple days came and they blew off <laughs> quite a few of the flowers. Um, Persithia is a spring favorite for so many people, mostly because they are what I like to call the harbingers of spring. They're one of the first things to start blooming. It lets you know, hey, winter's over. Um, for the most part. Uh, winter's over and spring's well on its way. Uh, we have a handful of different varieties of forsythias. Forsythias um, typically in the past were actually a fairly large shrub. We're talking six, eight, maybe even 10 feet tall at maturity. But with a lot of these new varieties they have out there, they have ones much more manageable, much more of an appropriate size for the landscape. 
Um, for example here, we have Gold Tide. Gold Tide gets only about three feet tall and three to four feet wide. These things, as they grow, they'll become nice and thick, nice green leaves on them. They actually make a fantastic hedge if you ever wanted to uh, use that as an option. So they'll put on a nice, very showy golden display first thing in the spring. And then they come out with these nice lush green leaves and they stay on until fall. And then they just greet you every year. The most important thing to remember for Forsythia is, is how important it is to time your pruning. So Forsythias always bloom on last year's wood. So you always want to prune these guys as soon as they're done blooming. If you were to prune these like you do your fruit trees, you're going to miss out on a lot of flowers. So just keep that in mind with your Forsythias. Um, so tree of the week, Siouxland Poplar, 25% um, off for the next six days, seven days. Um, and uh, Forsythias, shrub of the week. Um, so until then, we will see you guys next week. If you have any more questions, feel free to drop in on the comments. If there's some topics you would like us to cover, either in our Facebook posts or in our weekly uh, lives, uh, please let us know. We want to make sure we're making videos that pertain to you guys, our customers. So we'll see you next time. Thanks.